Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and richpicksdaily.com where you should be at daily. Join the club where you can win big in these markets. We got a special pick for you today. My crystal ball says that we have a pick that could yield enormous returns, potentially a 10x. That's right, potentially a 10x for early investors. Put GiveX, G I V E X, on your radar, on your watch list. They're on the TSX. Guys. These guys are trading at 75 cents, despite the fact they're doing over 51 million a year and are EBITDA positive, have been in business for over 20 years and are profitable trading under a dollar. I think because they're doing about 51 million a year, they should be priced around $5. Really nice, tight share supply, 115 million shares issued outstanding. I think they're extremely undervalued underappreciated, underexposed. Let's take a look. Don't go anywhere. It's your boy, Rich, from Rich to be Live. we got another big winner for you today, GiveX. Let's take a look. This is the GiveX.com investor relations website. Learn about our stock and financial performance. Click to visit GIVX on the TSX exchange. You can see here their products are gift cards, loyalty programs, POS, which stands for point of sale, GiveX Go Management app, mobile app, uptick, trademark, ticketing, analytics, ordering kiosk, and GiveX Pay. You can scroll down on the site and you can see here to better engage your customers and streamline operations. You can see there's a focus on customer acquisition and engagement, communications and rewards, customer insights, and operational efficiency. They were listed on the TSX under the symbol G-I-V-X. This is what the stock looks like right here. Learn how to reopen your business successfully here and take a look at the stock. So what I've done is I've marked the high high, which is about $1.23, which happened pretty much day one when they launched right here on December 21st. And then they sold off, hit a low low of just about 60 cents. I always like to kind of understand the feel for the chart and understand where the chart is going and what you're getting yourself into when you buy a stock. So it went up, all the excitement of a new company, and then not a new company, this company has been around for a long time, but a company that is new on the Toronto Stock Exchange traded down, went up, traded down, and then now it's nicely recovering, as you can see here, trending back up after going down, trending back up from 60 cents to where it sits today, back to 75. It did go as high as 86 and is settling off right at 75 right now. So that's what the chart looks like. And it's important when you're looking at anything to follow them on social media. This is their LinkedIn page. GiveX is a global IT platform focused on providing merchants with useful customer insights. Learn more at GiveX.com. This is their Twitter page. Right here is their Twitter page, GiveX Corp, at GiveX Corp. GiveX is a gift, global gift card, loyalty program, and point of sale technology provider since 1999. So these guys have been around for years. Okay, so this is not a startup. This is a company that's already been around for a long time. And I'm going to break that down for you so you understand exactly what I'm talking about. So after 20 years of profitability, GiveX is well positioned for rapid growth. So this is their deck as of December 2021. You can see that they did say that they've been profitable for 20 years. And now they are public on the Toronto Stock Exchange, a global fintech platform empowering merchants with knowledge and know-how. GiveX is all about engagement, point of sale, and payment, 
And we live in a world where it's all about payments. So this is a great industry and a great sector to get exposure to. GiveX develops, sells, and supports a cloud-based fintech platform to hospitality and retail merchants in the Americas, EMEA, and Asian market. Take a look at these company highlights. This is extremely impressive. 270 plus employees, 96,000 client locations that they're already in, a 1% churn, very impressive, 10 global offices, 100 plus countries, and zero to 2% client concentration. So they're really just getting started. People in technology supporting diverse range of hospitality and retail merchants in the Americas, offers rare opportunity of strong future growth with current profitability, hard to find companies like that. Look at the financial highlights on the right side here. Revenue grew 33% to 14.6 million compared to the three months ending the September 30th, 2020. So 14.6 million in a quarter. That's enormous year over year, quarter over quarter growth. Revenue increased 12% to 40 million compared to nine months ending September 30th, 2020. So the revenue growth for this company is huge, 40 million in nine months. Gross transaction volume grew 21% to $1.1 billion in gross transaction volume. Extremely impressive compared to three months ending September 30th, 2020. So this is a company that is literally growing off the charts Gross transaction volume increased 16% to $3.6 billion compared to the nine months ending September 30th, 2020. So it is just growing year over year, quarter over quarter. Adjusted EBITDA grew 55% to $2.7 million. So this is a company with adjusted EBITDA. So we're talking about a profitable business here, and we love profitable companies here at Rich TV Live. I think everybody needs to put GiveX on their radar and on their watch list. I think these prices are absolutely a gift priced at 75 cents. I can't wait to understand more about this company. And this is why we do these videos so that we can all learn as a community about undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed companies that just haven't exploded yet, that people just don't know about. So what do they do? And how do we do it? GiveX is a cloud-based omni-channel platform, fully integrated product suite featuring cross-platform analytics, engagement with gift cards and loyalty, integration with a thousand plus APIs, point of sale, cloud-based and secure, analytics, extensive and real-time, and payments, digital and in-store. And I know that I'm always looking for different ways to make digital payments and I'm looking for all of these types of services. So for someone like myself that has a business, this is extremely appealing. And I could see thousands of businesses, millions of businesses eventually all over the world needing these services. The market overview is enormous. The market is massive and growing. GiveX is uniquely positioned versus its peers. And remember, they've been doing this for over 20 years. Loyalty, size, USD in 2027, $10 billion, and the CAGR compound annual growth rate from 2021 to 2030 is a growth rate of 19.9%, which is enormous. Stored value size USD in 2030, check this out, $6.8 trillion and a compound annual growth rate of 18.2% from 2021 to 2030. Point of sale, point of sale software size in 2028, 19.5 billion, a 9.5% CAGR from 2021 to 2028. And POS hardware size USD in 2028, $130 billion market and a 6.9% CAGR from 2021 to 2028. Compound annual growth rate, enormous growth sector for a company that's already profitable, generating a lot of revenue and just went public, but has been privately running for 20 years, mastering this sector, GiveX, digital payments, 
size USD in 2028, $236 billion, a 19.4% CAGR. So enormous growth potential for a company that's already in this sector and has been for 20 years, representing some of the world's largest brands across 96,000 client locations, huge names like Wendy's, Swiss Chalet, Harvey's, The Keg, A&W, Quiznos, 7-Eleven, Major League Baseball, the Philadelphia Flyers, the Philadelphia Phillies, the Cardinals, the Giants, the Braves, the Philadelphia 76ers. These are huge names. Best Western, Fairmont Hotels, MGM Resorts, LCBO, OLG. These are enormous brands. Why are they choosing GiveX? Well, GiveX provides enterprise-grade security, extensive API library, competitive pricing, flexible platform, continuous upgrades, extensive reporting, and single source solution. In addition, they also provide proprietary technology, VPOD allow for unlimited transactional growth, twin data centers per region replicated in real time, proven reliability, virtually 100% uptime with global data center network. And remember, they've already been doing this for 20 years. So they've built their brand. Now they're going market publicly to help grow exponentially. This is why I think you need to put them on their radar, put them on your watch list. In addition, they provide maximum security, regular risk assessment by large clients, accredited platform, PCI level one certified. So they are certified SOC one and SOC two certified and tier one support supported 24 seven by our own in-house teams. Excellent service, continuous improvement, strong references, 1% churn, upsell opportunities and constant flow of new onboardings. So these guys are just blowing up. Look at the performance during the fiscal years 2018 to 2020. This is while they were private. Remember, they've now just gone public. We believe that's going to put way more eyeballs on this story. And we find them to be extremely undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Look at this. So you can see how they have grown year over year in 2018, doing 41 million and 9 million in adjusted EBITDA. In 2019, 49 million and 6.2 million in adjusted EBITDA, and 2020, all these years are audited, 51.5 million and 9 million in adjusted EBITDA. Based on these numbers alone, I think that this stock should be priced at around $5. Now we need to look at the share structure and understand all the fundamentals a little bit more, so let's take a look. So stored value, gross transaction value, look at the gross transaction value, absolutely enormous. And you can see the client locations have grown from 540 in 2018, 725 in 2019, and 844 in 2020. So the client locations continue to grow. This is the three-month performance to September 30th, 2021, and how the revenue has grown from 2020 to 2021. We talked about that. The adjusted EBITDA also grown and the gross transaction value growing from September 30th, 2020 to September 30th, 2021. And you can see the growth and why as investors, you should be really excited about GiveX. And I, I just think it's extremely undervalued based on its fundamentals. This is not a hype story. This is a fundamental real business that has real EBITDA and real revenue growth, transactional value growth, and customer locations growth. You can see the revenue growth, which we've talked about, the adjusted EBITDA, the customer locations growth, and the transactional value growth year over year. And how will they continue to grow? So they are focusing on accelerating their M&A. And this is one of the reasons why a company goes public. They want to accelerate their growth. And this is a company with a proven model with less than 1% churn and reoccurring revenue a growing client base serving 96,000 locations worldwide, including multinational companies, massive market with business switching to cloud-based solutions 
from limited legacy systems, fully integrated omni-channel data and technology platform providing client engagement with gift card and loyalty programs, cloud-based and secure POS systems, extensive and real-time analytics, and digital and in-store payments. They plan for corporate growth includes accelerating growth with strategic acquisitions while maintaining earnings. So they want to maintain their earnings while focusing on strategic acquisitions and land and expand, upsell high margin services and modules to existing clients. So they're looking to upsell high margin services and other potential products to their existing growing client base and organic growth, acquire merchants through direct sales, resellers, and RFPs. So they have a plan of how they're going to grow and now they're public. This is the board of directors. Don Gray is the chairman and CEO. I fully expect to interview Don Gray. Hopefully I can interview other members of the team. Mr. Gray has been part of the information technology industry for over four decades. He has many years of experience in startups, turnarounds, acquisitions, and dispositions. Mr. Gray's startup experience includes point of sale, POS, internet, and cloud computing companies. He has been focused on GiveX since founding it with his wife in 1999. So you guys can see here all the different members of the team and the third quarter 2021 operational highlights. GiveX launch, GiveX Pay, an integrated payment processing solution enabling users to facilitate payments with end customers. Bar Burrito, a Canadian-based quick service restaurant chain, completed its installation of GiveX POS, online ordering gift cards and loyalty programs in 164 locations. GiveX POS locations increased to 1,151 in Q3 2021 from 832 in Q3 2020, an increase of 38%. Foodtastic, Second Cup, Milestones, Pita Pit, all big names agreed to implement GiveX gift card program, customer website solution, and GiveX POS systems across all 650 locations. GiveX welcomed new uptick clients, Buffalo Bills, NFL, wow, Colorado, wow, big, big names, Colorado Rockies in Major League Baseball, and Columbus Blue Jackets of the NHL iFood and GiveX reshaped the Brazilian food delivery market, selling more than 10 million gift cards in less than two years by the end of Q3 2021. I think everyone needs to put GiveX on their radar, put them on their watch list. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, this is a quality company, millions of dollars in revenue. They're just going public and the price is right, folks. I think the upside is tremendous. Typically, when I look at companies like this, I think that if a company is doing about 10 million a year with a tight share structure, they should be priced at around a dollar. 100 million a year, $10. Well, these guys are doing 50 million a year. They should be priced at around $5. They're priced at 75 cents. I still need to look at the share structure. That's going to tell me a lot. But from based on what I see right now, I think that this is a very exceptional opportunity that everyone should be aware of and everyone should put on their radar and everybody should put on their watch list because the upside is absolutely tremendous and it's a sector that's growing. You could see a growing client base. We've talked about their client base. Growth with profit. GiveX offers a rare opportunity of strong future growth of merchant base with current profitability. Proven growth model with less than 1% churn and strong reoccurring revenue streams. That is extremely impressive. 1% churn means that their clients are staying with them. Integrated data and technology, omni-channel platform provides merchants with data insights and solutions they need in three crucial areas, customer engagement, point of sale, and payment. Now, we just have to get a better feel for the share structure. So let's go to... TMX money. All right. And we're going to go to GiveX. And guys, you can do this research. You have to do this research when you're learning about investing. You got to know what you're investing into. So we look at the volume, 114,000. 
75 cents down 6% on the day. And we can go to the share structure. So this is what I want to understand, the market cap. So a company doing 50 million a year has an 86 million market cap. I believe that this could easily grow to a 500 million market cap. I believe with 150 million shares issued in outstanding, that's a pretty tight float and a pretty tight share structure. I don't see any reason why this cannot be at least a $5 stock doing 50 million in revenue and potentially grow higher from there. That is my analysis. That is my opinion. I'd love to know if you guys agree with me. This is Rich from Rich to be Live bringing you GiveX. You can learn more. You can email them at their IR at GiveX.com. And you can see that they are focused on going global. And this is a company that has what it takes to do it. And I believe that everyone needs to put them on their radar and put them on their watches right here, right now. Love to know your opinions. Guys, comment on the video. If you like the video, smash the like button. It's your boy Rich from Rich to be Live. GiveX.com is the website. And GiveX, G I V X, is the symbol. It's your boy Rich from Rich to be Live. Bring you the winners, and we're bringing them to you first. I think we have a chance to be another big winner, guys. A quality company that I believe is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, only at 75 cents, already on the highest exchange in Canada on the TSX. Your boy Rich from Rich to be Live, and I'm out.